during the height of COVID, there were a lot of problems going on with people that were looking for remote work where there was a lot of legit work that was remote, but there were also scamsters that came out of the woodwork. And now that the job market has been tightening some, the scamsters are back big time when you're looking for work. And it doesn't even have to be remote, but you apply so much for jobs now online. There's a new alert from the Federal Trade Commission. I've read several uh, stories about the problems with people getting scammed, looking for a job. And again, I want to emphasize this is for both job title descriptions that say remote work and regular uh, job titles where you will be going to a physical facility, an office, or whatever to work, but the applications initially are done online. You need to know that the scamsters are out there and they are even on legitimate job sources, you know, job sites. And the job sites don't want the crooks there. There's just so many listings that so many slip through the cracks. So know that when somebody, um, for particularly for an in-person job, there's never any intention of having you come in person. Uh, interviews being done over some kind of messaging service. Uh, interviews that could be digitally face-to-face on one of the the various apps people use for like it could be meets or it could be um, a zoom call anything like that be aware that you have to be careful how you proceed following an initial contact through a series of emails messaging or even um, a face-to-face digital kind of supposed interview that what happens next is where you can end up with some harm. There are a lot of supposed job opportunities where they're then going to tell you, you have to pay some kind of money. That's where you know that you are about to be scammed, and that one's easy. But what about if they say, uh, wow, we're really interested in you in an applicant as an applicant. We need for you to fill out more information. And remember, you haven't been to a physical office. You don't know that person really represents a legitimate company. You don't know if that person represents as being from a well-known and recognized company. They really are with them, not necessarily, particularly if you're not getting emails from that company. You're instead getting them through some kind of messaging app or something like that. You need to be very aware. You can be very close to having your identity stolen. Because it seems like, why would somebody go through all that work to steal your identity? They're doing it. Because once somebody has your social security number, they have your current address, they've got your phone number, they've asked for prior addresses, they might ask, oh, we need your bank account information for direct deposit purposes. Remember, you don't know you've really been offered a job or hired for a real job and they're trying to get your direct deposit information, you've got to do more research to make sure you're dealing with a legitimate employer, a legitimate job offer, and all the rest. And if you're going to be working in a facility, you want to be interviewed there. Uh, Maybe an initial screening is done online in some way. But Man, don't cough up key personal information until you have been able to be confident that you're getting an actual real offer. What do you expect for that? You want on company letterhead an actual real offer with a start date and all the information where you're going to be working and all that. And then you get in your car and you go to that supposed address you're going to be working at and you want to check. Is there actually somebody working there of the name who whoever is supposed to be the one actually interviewing you? This is art more than science on your part. 
you've got to, you want that job. So many times you're going to, out of wanting that job, you're going to suspend disbelief and you're going to give information you shouldn't give at that time. Next thing that could happen with all that information, they could empty your bank account pretty easily if you've given them your bank account information for direct deposit. When should that kind of information be given in any case? Once you're onboarded by HR. Before that, nope. I was also going to say, um, you can if it's a well-known company, most of them on their websites have a section that says careers or employment opportunities at the bottom. So you could look and see if that's really a job listing. And also you could call the HR department and ask if this is a legitimate job listing in person, um, just separately. Just know that this is a big problem right now. And you have to be on your yeah, guard. It is so much more common that you get, you know, interviewed remotely now. It's just, yeah, it's tough.